G'day guys, Daniel and Tones here for the next episode of The Plant-Based Cyclist. Um, Tones is off to my left, your right. Today she is refusing to be on camera as she gets further into the pregnancy, so um, she's just gonna hide away over there. But we're gonna have a bit of a discussion today. So I wanted to talk through today about um, one of the most important parts of this is what to eat when you are a plant-based cyclist and, and, and how to get the right nutrition in and how to get the right um, you know, vitamins and minerals and all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna start off talking about what I'm eating um, and as I always say, this is not right, not wrong. There's no right or wrong answer with this, but it's important to at least get some form of guidance. So this is what works for me, um, and this is what we formulated um, for my training plan along the way. Um, so I think a good starting point would be to go through basically my week. I mean, your, your input would be good here because a lot of, a lot of my nutrition and a lot of my meals tones is cooking for me. So. Um, let's talk about, you know, typical day for me when I'm in training. Um, well, I make you a shake in the morning, which has got so much stuff in it, like bananas, berries, goji berries, chia seeds, coconut milk, soy milk, coconut water, sorry. Um, I think I put the recipe up for that for everybody yeah, to see um, that time. But talk through the more, the like the nitty gritties of that. So why? You know, things that I never knew, like chia seeds, massively high in energy. You know, um, so talk through those little... Yeah, it's, it's energy, but it's also omega-3s, which is what people eat salmon and all of that sort of stuff for, and it's really good for your brain. Um, it's really good for kids, it's really important for kids, especially um, growing brains. Um, goji berries, antioxidants, filled with them. Um, what else do you have in there? Your protein powders. Protein powders, yeah. Um, I've cut that out in the morning though um, because I just don't think it's necessary unless it's immediately after a ride. So I've cut that back to just, um, that's more of a an energy-based yeah. smoothie now as opposed to a re recovery smoothie. Um, bananas, good potassium, really good for the brain. It's good for mental health too. Um, berries, antioxidants, all that sort of stuff. It's just really good, good shape. Yeah, and it's it's good. I find it's a good way to start the day because yeah. it gets you feeling good, it gets you energetic, and it just, it gives and you all the nutrients water, that you need. Yeah, yeah. It's really good in it and really sweetens everything up. Well, I don't like it. Um, I don't like it just drinking it on its own, but when you mix all the other stuff into it, you don't even notice the no. taste, so it's, it's quite good. Yeah. Um, so that's good, so we start with that. Then mid-morning, roughly around 10, 30, 11 o'clock, I'll normally have a bowl of fruit. Um, so, you know, at the moment, like today, for example, and this week I've been eating blueberries and strawberries, so just cut up a few strawberries, handful of blueberries, whack them in a bowl and eat those. Again, packed full of antioxidants and good nutrients, so that's really healthy for you. Um, into lunch, uh, most of the time I'm pretty simple um, when it comes to lunch because running a business and kids, I don't have stacks of time to plan all this sort of stuff. So I find that keeping it more basic just makes my life a lot easier. So like this week, for example, it's it's purely been rice, broccoli, um, tofu with like, you know, a bit of teriyaki sauce or a bit of satay sauce or things like that. Um, a lot of noodle soups because they're easy and quick um, and full again, full of veggies and that type of thing. But I'm pretty, pretty simple when it comes to, to lunches because it's more about Jesus it's more about um, just getting the right food in because a lot of the times I'll be riding in the evening so I need to just get the carbs in and get the um, what is going on over there? A mosquito. A mosquito. The catch chasing a mosquito. There you go. Um, Very vegan of me. <laughs> yeah worst vegan ever. Um, yeah so yeah, so it's about getting the getting the right carbs and everything in so that when I do go for a ride in the evening, which at the moment is five out of seven evenings that I am riding, I've got the energy and I'm, I've got the right nutrition in the, in the body. And again, you would have seen the video about when I ate the pie for lunch that time, the, the plant-based pie, and it just I just felt like shit. So yeah, having the right food. Miss, you know, you can be vegan and plant-based or whatever, but um, you can still be unhealthy. Yeah, which we're going to come back to in a minute because I think that's a really important part of the conversation. So dinners is probably when we get the most creative. So Tones and I will sit down at the start of the week um, being a Sunday, which Tones disagrees. She thinks Monday. it's a Monday. But anyway, so we sit down on a Sunday um, and we make out a bit of a plan and we actually work out, okay, what are we having for dinner Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Because 
we've got the time to be able to be a bit more creative with it. So we eat what? A lot of curries. We eat maybe four curries a week. Yeah. Um, it's the best way to get, you know, chickpeas and beans and all the veggies. You in. can and hide veggies in curries, it. can't you? Kids you know, it's love easy. it. Yeah. Um, Willow's hit and miss, but yeah, that, that's the easiest for the family. And yeah. you can do thousands, thousands of different types. Yeah. But also on that, I think with the curries as well, what's really important is that the spices you use, like yeah. cumin and turmeric and garlic and all that sort of stuff, like, you know? Tofu and the veggies that you make because you've got all the spices, we can just go out and buy them all and then you just have all, you know, coconut milks in the in the pantry and yeah. good yeah. to go. So it's so curries is a big one for us. Um, we try to avoid a lot of the processed, like the fake meats, if you will, because um, and Mass again, we'll, we'll go into week. that. But yeah, yeah, once a week is probably the most that we do. And I actually can't even remember the last time we had one. We, we don't do it very often anymore. We used to, when we started, do yeah. it a lot more than what we do. But um, yeah. so curries, um, we do, what else are we doing? Again, noodle pasta, soups, laxes, um, pastas. And I make sauces with vitamized veggies in it. Yeah. I make carrot, broccoli, um, zucchini, and I just vitamize it. Nobody tastes it. Nobody yeah. knows the difference. Yeah. Absolutely, and then after after a workout, like straight after a workout, is when I hit the protein these days. So I've just got some cool proteins that um, uh, protein powders. Um, if you jump on Nutrition Warehouse website, that's the easiest one that I've found to use to be able to find um, and quick delivery and everything too. They've got a whole range of plant based proteins. Usually it's pea protein, um, which again I never would have thought there was heaps of protein in peas. Um, but apparently there is. <laughs> I didn't think you were talking about peas for some reason. I said pea though. I know, I was thinking of a different thing. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Um, you can also get hemp protein. Um, hemp's, hemp's good, but there's not a lot of it in Australia. I think it's more an overseas thing. But yeah, the ones, the ones I use, it's a balance, I think it's balanced pea protein and well, I can't remember the other one, but I've just started it. But I'll, I'll do a whole nother segment on those one day so that you've got it. Now, to give you guys for ideas, this is what we used, right? So we went and bought a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of cookbooks when we did this because one of the biggest things that you struggle with being plant-based... some of them are really, based, really shit. Like, they will just have a whole bunch of stuff that you'll look yeah. at and you'll be like, I'm not fucking eating that. That's yeah. just like... That's the stuff that yeah. people look at but that aren't and vegan. And then they're like, oh, this looks too food. healthy. I can't be bothered, yeah. Yeah, spot on. So... We bought, um, for a trial and error, we've got a pile on the floor there that we're not gonna show you, but this one's a ripper, so it's called Vegan Riches Indian Kitchen. Um, so if you like curries, pretty much any curry that you've ever eaten that's got meat in it, you can replicate in that book. And again, they're all super healthy, like they're, they're good, they're packed full of nutrients, packed full of protein, um, plenty of carbs, so they're good for if you are being an athlete. Um, and this is the number one, right? So this one here, um, it's called the No Meat Athlete Cookbook. Um, he's an endurance athlete. I bought that not all that long ago, but it pretty much is a guide to being an athlete as a plant-based diet. So it's got really good. Um, uh, what do you call it? Drinks, hydration drinks, and yeah, smoothies, energy drinks, all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much this dude's like the guru um, of this sort of stuff, and like the whole front section of the book it actually goes into detail about how to cook stuff what's the right thing to eat what's the wrong thing to eat because as Tone said before you can be vegan you can be plant-based and still be unhealthy like there's a lot of shit in there oh, like there's a lot of bad all foods day and beyond meat burgers and hungry jacks rebel whoppers easy yeah yeah I'm plant-based but which are all delicious and if yeah. you're looking for a snack I mean go bananas but to eat that stuff all the time we kind of fell into that trap where yeah, we, we were we were eating like you know two, two fake meats yeah. weren't we you know I would buy um the pork bites they were so good yeah um Mandarin chicken ones, um, all of those, the garden, whatever that yeah, garden brand is, yeah. yeah. The fish fillets, they're good. And we'd have fish and chips a lot, like the fake yeah. fish, yeah. Yeah, so don't get me wrong, it's good and it's good to have, you and know, as, a, as an a, options, occasional yeah. thing. But if you if you really want to get the nutrients in and do it properly, Tone's just going to show you something and I'll, I'll, I'll find a way to put it up on the screen so that you can see it. But it's I, you'll need to talk through this because I still don't understand it. But we stumbled across this and this pretty much gave us the right ideas on what to do and a lot of the foods we eat we eat organic wherever possible because it cuts out all the chemicals all the crap 
and it's just the Pet way size, that food's meant size, to be eaten. Mm. All that shit. Yeah. So I go shopping Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It takes me three days. Um, sad. Um, so I go to Aldi and I buy all their organic range. They have baked beans, they have tomato tins, coconut milk, um, pastas, goji berries, coconut water. Um, They've actually got a really good selection. They've got heaps of Aldi's so one of the better ones, yeah. Um, and I buy, there's, I'll, I'll get to that. And then um, from Safeway, I, I buy like nappies and wipes and the kids snacks. Safeway has heaps of vegan snacks. It's insane now. Mm. Um, and then I go to Whole Foods in Fergie Gully and buy the rest of it, like veggies, fruit, um, nuts, seeds, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, on that, if you if you want to do, Whole Foods is like your one-stop shop. Yeah. You could go there and if do you your entire weekly it, shop, you definitely, but it's stupidly expensive. It's not stupidly expensive, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I we have a disagreement on that. Um, but I like to keep the budget low so that you don't have a shit fit every week. Um, That's the first time I've ever heard you say, <laughs> I like to keep the budget low. It's not worth She's the She's putting headache. a show on for the camera, not just worth FYI. The um, I could buy all that stuff from Whole Foods for sure and not have to go shopping three days in a row. Cool. But I do. But um, I'd also have to work three times as hard would. just to it, pay for it. Our there. shopping would be about five, six hundred bucks, I reckon, if I did the whole thing at Whole Foods. Mm. Just because we eat so much now yeah. that we're doing. I mean, we've shakes. got three kids, and those little bastards eat you out of, oh, you know, out of house at home. Yeah, it's um, crazy. I can't remember what I was saying. So, talk, touch on the dirty okay, dozen. Okay, so the clean fifteen and the dirty dozen is um, what I've been doing lately. So, the clean fifteen is the types of foods that have the least, least pesticides, herbicides, chemicals, all that sort of shit. So. Um, Broccoli is one. So I buy my broccoli from Aldi um, and my avocados, pineapples, um, asparagus. It, it's pretty much, they say that anything basically with a skin on it, is that right? Or like in a cup, like an avocado, it's got a covering. So it's not uh, as affected by the pesticides. Is that right? Yeah, yes and no, because like, I mean, anyway, there's a lot so on there that doesn't have that as well. So I think it's just mass produced stuff as well. Yeah, okay. Um, things that are made in a, in a um, camp, like a, what do you call it? Yeah. Like a greenhouse and all that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. that's not, yeah. Well, yeah, mass produced mass is what produce, you're going Yeah, that, yeah that's yeah. a good yeah. word for so it. So they're the ones where they use a stack of pesticides and chemicals and shit on your food that's just not good for yeah, you. Yeah, so Dan will put a list up of what is okay to buy. Still, if you can buy organic, I would. It's just that there's only one or two um, chemicals that mm. they use, or sometimes none, I'm not sure. Um, but sometimes there can be 12 to 20 that are used on like strawberries, uh, one of the worst. Strawberries are a big one, yeah. So there's a dirty yeah. dozen and a clean 15. So the mm. dirty dozen is strawberries, spinach, kale, nectarines, apples, grapes, peaches, cherries, pears, tomatoes, celery, potato. That's Always, if you can, buy organic because they'll just have the most. Oh my god, I'm so puffed. <laughs> <laughs> she's super premium. Give her a break. So I'll take over to give you a rest. So basically, what she's saying is that dirty dozen. You want to avoid that if you can and buy those type of things organically. Okay, because so you'll not avoid so all the chemicals. It's stressful and you don't feel like you have to buy organic all the time. There is options that you can buy things from still Aldi and Safeway and all that sort of stuff that you're not yeah. going to freak out that you're going to give all your kids all these chemicals yeah. really. But that's one of the things, so people who do go plant-based or vegan, they they think just because you're eating veggies and just because you're eating, you know, what's perceived as healthy food, that you're, that you're doing the right thing. But you and you are, you're doing a hell of a lot better than eating the other foods in my opinion, but you're still getting all the chemicals and pesticides and all the shit that can cause you longer term problems. Like, and that's one of the big reasons we decided to do this is because you know, I've got a pretty long history of cancer in my family and heart disease and just, you know, bad stuff. And looking at a lot of this stuff and the research that we've done, the documentaries that we've watched, this stuff is a big cause of a lot of that, the pesticides and the chemicals and the stuff yeah, that you use. So again, that's it's our opinion, that's time. what works for us, but yeah. It's over time and it's also on little bodies that little bodies can't handle it. Back in the day when we yeah. were all younger, it wasn't so bad, you know, your parents would either grow a little bit of this and a little bit of that and you just eat what was seasonal. 
<laughs> you'd eat what was seasonal, but these days everything's there yeah. because it's come like the apples from Safeway that aren't organic. Sometimes they've been in a freezer for six months. Yeah. But they also manipulate the food, so yeah. there is no like seasons coding, for a lot of it. I don't know. I yeah. googled and just like learnt so much stuff over the last five years. Yeah. Anyway, I think you can do your own research into that sort of yeah. stuff because that's that's a whole different ball game. Um, but we stick to that dirty dozen clean fifteen as much as we possibly can. We utilise these because there's heaps of recipes, heaps of good stuff. So if you want copies of that sort of stuff. Hit me up, I can show you where you can get it all from. It's really easy. But essentially, it's important to get the balance of, you know, for me in particular, it's important to get the right carbs, the right protein, the right nutrients. And, you know, again, I think I'm gonna do a video at some stage of like an, exactly what I eat over the whole week um, and show you each each individual meal and, and you know, map it out. And, it like yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. But, um, but yeah, so, it's, uh, I hope tonight's been helpful for you to at least get a bit of an idea. Again, I've had a few people shoot me messages and say, you know, we run out of ideas, we run out of options. So this is just a little yeah. bit of a you know, took, tip of the iceberg. It took me a while to like do it all. Yeah, and, and this is it, right? But like, the thing is, it's not easy. Like no. it is a lot of work. I am all day cooking, cleaning. That's not part of it, but you know. Just likes to throw that in there just to make me feel bad. Um, it's a lot of prep, and if if you do it this way, anyway. Yeah. So. And I think for me, one of the big reasons people go back is because it is overwhelming. It is yeah. hard to stick to you it, and it's hard to get more. creative. So. Yeah. It's, if you do go back, shit happens. Don't worry about it. Like we've gone back and forth. It took us a long time, you know, in the past to get set that this is what we were gonna do and this is how yeah. we were gonna eat. And now we're there, but shit, I reckon it's what, three or four years it's taken us to get to this point where, you know, we don't have to think about it as much. You don't have to use these so much because a lot of the stuff we naturally cook, we've already got out of these these books and these recipes. And, you know, even if you don't have these, just jump on Google. There's heaps of stuff on there. So. Yeah, there's no excuses there's anymore, apps, but there's apps, there's, again, yeah. if we can help you further, hit us up. I think we've probably hit the time limit of what we need to do, but um, a big virtual round of applause for Tones for digging in, because oh um, <laughs> you did an awesome job, um, even though you're off camera, but this is her expertise. So if you do want some more info, um, you know, speak to her. She's a guru on it without the qualifications, but she <laughs> is an absolute guru. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Chat to you soon. Bye -bye. Cheers.